you know, and we you learned a lesson from that in terms of just making sure oh. your army stays in position. And the army is dead. That's unfortunate. But you learned a lesson, right? Yeah. As as uh, as we learn in the holding of Ice Cube v Life, you you better yeah. chibi check yourself before you wreck yourself, <laughs> DJ. Holy shit! Look at his movement range. I don't even know if we can catch up to him. Goro's heart render. Surely a cruel jest by the gods. A cruel jest indeed. Um, yeah, that dude. Uh, that dude had some movement points on on that. Well, you know, we can just F right off, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we can still burn down your other city. How much does it cost to raise a new uh, horde? Uh, we could afford it. Um, Military heritage, that's great. Plus two in foreign territory. Which is everywhere. Which is, yeah, everywhere. The blind beast lord, or the misshapen beast lord. <laughs> Enemy leadership minus two. Yeah, I think uh, Kornash Gorhorn, which is very alliterative, uh, should be our. Uh, I would agree. Our next, our next uh, leader, and we'll we'll go ahead and. Oh yeah, we have to encamp him first. So we'll we'll burn this down. We'll disappear into the forest, and then we'll raise some units. Kornash Gorhorn. Um, the yeah. paths are hidden ways, known only to the cloven ones. Oh yeah, that's right. We can use, use beast them, paths. Brutal lord, to traverse the forests. Nice. Navigate through otherwise impassable terrain. Hello, hello. Amadeus, welcome. Uh, the ruinous powers take grim pleasure in your endeavors. In their dark mirth, they grant a boon. Which of the gifts will you choose? Uh, so we can recruit a Gorbul, which is an amazing <laughs> melee unit, or a Bray Shaman. Which is an amazing magical unit. I um, would say that magic is your weak spot. I would do the yeah, Bray Shaman. Um, that is that is true. Um, let's yeah, let's do that. We'll give him to uh, the better army here. And what spells? Rarm Doombringer. Who? Rarm Doombringer. Oh yeah. is his name. <laughs> It's kind of a ridiculous name, to be perfectly honest. But uh, so beast don't let Rarm hear you say that. <laughs> traverse terrain that would normally be a passable minimum requirement. Immune to attrition, but nearby hostile armies may intercept us. Um, does it give us larger movement range? It does not. It just lets us go through passable terrain. So yeah, let's let's just. Continue marching on Bill Bali or whatever it is. Yeah. Wonder if we can recruit mercenaries. That would be nice. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, he's not going to be able to catch us. He's just going to go back to the capital. He thinks he's won. He defeated a few beast men in the woods, and he just thinks he's. Hot shit right now is is his his opinion of himself. He will pay for his hubris. All right, we're gonna hide in the forest, and we're gonna go next turn into an encampment stance, because we're not gonna need two armies to take this town and burn to the ground and defile everything that it stands for. Oh, here he comes. He's probably like, oh crap, we've left Bibali completely <laughs> undefended. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the spoils of war. Raid the following region, Bilbao. We can do that. We can indeed do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to turn invisible. And we're going to recruit some units. Uh, looks like we have only shit tier units available to us right but now. But you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Um, let's see. We don't have enough money to upgrade any of our buildings. None of population. Oh, okay. All right, so Bill Bali, we're gonna attack it. They do have crossbows this time, but this is our army with the Gores and the Minotaur and the Brayshaw, and so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a challenge. What is this game about? Um, it's, just a whole mess load of death and destruction. It's uh, it's it's Warhammer Fantasy. So imagine like 
the darkest, most ridiculously bloody and grim parody of fantasy that you can imagine, and that gives you a pretty good idea. Look up the definition of, of first-degree murder, and then <laughs> just think up a fantasy setting based on that, and you have Warhammer. Just lots of killing. Just lots of <laughs> lots of death. Yep. So gores are probably... You know what I will say, though? I really love that uh, Total War finally went this direction. Oh, it, yeah. It's been begging for it as far as I'm Just concerned since the very first Shogun. Adding fantasy units adds so much to this formula. It really does. Um... So we're going to want to use our Minotaur to mess up their swordsman, and we're not going to want him fighting their spearmen, because he, he is a large unit. Um, and, of course, have your wizard peppering them with magic, and get Kazrak right in there against their hero, would be right. my advice. We've got pretty good wins of magic, so really no need to gamble there. Um, they're probably going to try to set up on this hill. So let's go ahead and... Do they have cavalry? They don't have cavalry. So these guys pretty much oh that's right spearmen can't vanguard deploy well we're attacking them so we can't really bait them but uh yeah let's do minotaurs don't have vanguard deploy heroes don't have vanguard deploy so this that's, that's a smart call yeah any any time we can hide in a forest is uh, that's a that's a good day in my mind can bray shaman vanguard deploy they cannot all right so let's group those guys up and they have one unit of raiders which is less than that army that we lost Minotaurs are just badass. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're not a Minotaur, you're just going to have to be okay not being as badass as a Minotaur. Um, yeah, so these spear guys... Might actually be able to hide them anyway. And... I'd say a pretty good go of it. So what do we have left? We have one Ungore herd. And then we have these guys. Alright, let's let's see if they'll come down off their hill and attack us. They think we have a small army. Oh, a stallions come out to play. So apparently we don't have line of sight on their army. Is the impression I'm getting here? Oh, I didn't actually start the battle. I just said I didn't want to gamble on winds of magic. So they're hill camping. Hill camping is what they're doing. So let's see. If we move these guys over here. Bah! As they say. Lock off! Sass! Awak owls! So yeah, they, they've set themselves up in... in an, yeah, I know. They've set themselves up in an intelligent spot here. Um, they have... Two units of crossbowmen, and they've made sure that we have to cross a lot of open ground to get to them. Uh, which is going to make this slightly tricky. Uh, what is our bracing? Only has one spell, but it's a pretty good one. Um, Vile Tide is reasonably powerful from the testing I've done offline. 
Um, okay, I think they know there's some shenanigans going on over here because they're moving their armies. Hidden. Hidden. Okay. Well, what would happen if I were just to prod out this way? Prod away. Poking and prodding. Poking and prodding. What's their range on this crossbows? Pretty decent. Just have to be careful. Just trying to work out their formation. Go ahead and put it on faster speed. So if we put them in a position where they cannot defend one single front line, that is a position we like for them to be in. They're cleverly holding their swords in reserve because they know we have minotaurs. Smart. And they know that swordsmen are just going to get taken apart by minotaurs. The mobility of the regular infantry units is actually a big deal for this army. Um, more so than I would have thought. So we can't they're outrange I mean, they're them. fast. That's, that's a huge advantage. We cannot outrange them. Let's... Let's go ahead and just set up shop right outside of their missile range here. We need to fall back. We will fall back. This is gonna stiffen there. You're coming from all sides. That's yeah. It's gonna it's gonna stiffen their nose a little bit. So what I think we're gonna want to do is drop some spells on their missile troops. I'll see now we're forcing them back. So if we take over these woods here. And then we move these guys into. I'm trying to do this with minimal losses. I know I could probably blitz them and do okay with the balance of power as it is, but uh, I just want to be a little more tactical. We're still just out of crossbow range, which is exactly where we want to be. Yeah, we're not letting them get comfortable. They're even... They're sticking a spear unit back here. By itself, which tells you how out of position they are. They're just doing whatever they can at this point to... Uh... They're surrounded. That's got to be a horrible feeling. Yeah, so here is what I think we should do. I would just close... You, you could surround, man. Yeah. I would just close the trap. We're going to attack from the flanks first. Try to get them out of position. I think that's a good idea. And if you can use that magic spell, use it. If you have the range. And once, once I see what their archers are going to do, that's when I'll take further action. I want to see what they're going to try to do with those archers. And once they show their hand... And they've overcommitted to with the archers. Uh, I can wreck them with. Okay, so they're gonna try to turn that way. So let's move in the minotaurs. Let's move these guys up. Let's actually attack their hero here. Hidden units revealed. Hero on hero. And I would cast Vile Tide if you can reach. Yeah, let's... Yeah, so they're not going to be able to use their Spearmen to counter oh. Minotaurs. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. Oh. Yeah, Minotaurs just run right over everything. It's, it's amazing.
Well, they're now engaged with two different units on two different parts of the battlefield, but that's okay. Yeah, they... They definitely overplayed their hand there. They didn't have a lot of options, in all fairness to them, but, uh... Yeah, that was... That was a pretty clear-cut slaughter. I would, uh, I would hit another Vile Tide. Gibbets. Gibbets everywhere. Oh, that is, that is just not fun for them. Alright, where's our Brace Hammer? Thing is, we're so stuck in now that I can't really not hit our guys. Oh, maybe it doesn't have friendly fire. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out in a situation where we're already basically winning. Oh. Okay, it does hit our guys. <laughs> Vile Tide has friendly fire. It also ended that engagement, but it does have friendly fire. Oh, the slaughter. Oh, the summer sound of slaughter. Yeah. Victory. Decisive at that. Yeah. Yeah. So, we lost 217, probably about half of those were from casting Vile Tide on our own men. <laughs> probably. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we took out uh, 400 of the enemy. And well, we and have, took uh, the town. Desolated another town. We're about to have desolated another town. For the glory of the Chaos Gods. I'm going to take a drink of whiskey. Yep, uh, Ur Ulrich Weissman was not was not up to that. <laughs> he was not. Loot and raise. Gotta pay our lawyer fees. All right. Um, I would make sure that uh, he's still hidden. But uh, yeah, just just to be sure, I'll move him on the next turn and encamp him there too. So yeah, well, you could also stand a, to you could stand a couple turns in encampment to replenish your losses. Yeah. Um. Let's yeah, let's make sure that they both have blessed by evil so that they can have a full size army, and then we'll start specializing a little more. Everything else needs to be dealt with. This turn is dealt with. You have quite a bit of money, so. Yep. I don't think he has an agent with him either, which is going to really reduce the chances he'd be able to see us encamp in the forest. Oh, here he comes. Uh, Retreat. Decline attack. Oh, okay. So he actually moved into our ambush range, and we got the chance to ambush him. Um, That's fine. Yeah. War herd revealed. So... I would, uh... Yeah, let's, 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 uh, let's leave this silly country behind. We'll go uh, go set up camp in uh, southern Bretonia and plot their downfall. Because um, they they need to they need to be made to fall down. That's that's my honest opinion. We're gonna leave them alive. We have one more city to go. Well, they they it's a fully walled city. Oh, they're gonna force a fight here. His movement range is insane. Like, it really is. Is, is that, like, one of his general abilities? Because the thing is, if we lose this army, we pretty much lose the campaign. So... That's not fun. 